Looks like we'll be talking about the Baroque, Rococo, and Neoclassical periods. Martin Luther's Protestant Reformation had really stirred the religious pot. In the early 1600s, the Catholic Church responded with a counter-reformation, which propelled the Baroque movement and its artistic aims of making Catholic theology appeal to the masses. Drama and movement were some of the ways Baroque artists sought to engage the viewer. For example, in contrast to Michelangelo's David, sculptor Giovanni Bernini captures the moment of action as David rears back to fling his stone. I say, after seeing all the David statues, one really wonders, didn't his mother ever teach him to, I don't know, wear clothes? Baroque architecture also employed theatrical effects, replacing the straight lines of the Renaissance with flowing curves, elaborate domes, and ornamentation. Like the Chapel of San Carlino, whose walls were designed to weave in and out as if they were formed of some flexible material instead of rigid stone. Now we come to Caravaggio and, ooh, chiaroscuro, the technique of painting dark, dark shadows and, uh, okay, it's not dark, dark shadows if it's complete pitch darkness. I'm not afraid of the dark, but we really should turn on some lights quickly. Soon? Oh, there we go. As I was saying, chiaroscuro used dark shadows and lighted areas of interest to create drama. Although he didn't invent chiaroscuro, Caravaggio added a new level of realism that the church mostly appreciated, except when he portrayed saints as commoners with bare feet and dirty fingernails. Caravaggio was a prickly character whose temper often got him into brawls. What are you saying? I a temper? I thought I got talking about. This is a His turbulent lifestyle landed him in an early grave at 37, but his style influenced artists across Europe. 37? I don't can't even stand it. Talking about. The Baroque era marked the beginning of the landscape as an acceptable subject. Once considered too secular, painters like Claude Lorraine made landscape painting popular and lucrative. A Frenchman who immigrated to Rome, Lorraine was a meticulous draftsman. His paintings were based on numerous drawings made on location, but he never shows the harsh realities, creating instead an idealized image of nature. Though Lorraine often included figures in his paintings, they were always secondary. He is reported to say on the sale of a painting, the money is for the landscape, the figures you can have for free. <laughs>